The latest advancement in the world of harness racing is the UFO bike. I took the time to talk to some of our star drivers right here at Pompano Park to get their take on this new product. Here's what they had to say. All right, well, Wally Hennessy is, as you guys must know, is one of the best drivers we've got here on the grounds, and I have to hear from an expert. How do you feel about this new UFO bike? In my opinion, um, I, I, I really don't believe that uh, it's the bike. Uh, you know, I'm a firm believer in that uh, if, you, um, if you have the, the right horse in the right class and uh, the driver doesn't drive them all over the racetrack, uh, you'll do just as good in any sulky. Listen, <laughs> we're pretty fickle horse people, J just like anybody else in any business, and this is my business, and this is our business. What happens is we're all looking for an edge. So if you have a trainer that's looking for a catch driver, if he thinks that that catch driver has a, a UFO bike, he wants to use that driver because he thinks he's getting an edge. And that's fine if he thinks that way, but I'd rather have the horse and the driver. Why don't you have a UFO bike? <laughs> well, I'm happy with the bike I have, number one. And number two, um, $7,000. <laughs> but uh, no, but I'm happy with the bike I have. I use Tom Harmer's bike, and I've had a lot of success with that. All right, so while you don't think it's the bike or the way the wheels are made or, or, or the material that the bike is made of, makes no difference to you. I'm a firm believer that... Um, you know, give me the horse. Uh, I can go in a UFO or a, a Spider or a Tom Harmer bike, or you can even put me in an old Telstar or uh, any of the older bikes. If, if uh, the betting public thinks that I have a chance, like if I'm two to one or, 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 or better odds or five to one or whatever, you can hook me to anything. I, th I, I don't think it makes, that's my opinion. I don't think it makes a difference. So now we're going to get the other side, the other side of the opinion about the UFO bike. This is Joe Pavia. I want you to tell me, why did you get a UFO? The Harbor bike was the bike of choice for five years or so, and the UFO came out now, and it's a little bit lighter, a little more aerodynamic, supposedly. It uh, seems to work well. There's no real proof, per se, on which bike is better. It's just kind of a driver's choice. And as a catch driver, the trainers want the up-to-date material. What, if they get a little edge, I mean, a fifth of a second is the length of a horse race. So if you could be... A bike's a fifth of a second better or two fifths of a second better, it's a lot. Joe, what is it about the UFO bike that gives it the advantage? What are the features that it's got that make it a little bit better than the previous bikes? Well, the bike has uh, newer wheels on it, obviously, and that always helps. Uh, I use the whip wheels on my bike. I think that's the best wheel out. It doesn't come with this bike, but they have a similar wheel that comes with it. It's a lighter bike. It's a little more offset, so you're a little bit closer to the rail. That's the theory. Right now, they're kind of running out of space. You only move it so close to the rail, but it's a little bit closer to the rail, so every inch counts. Uh, and it's uh, aerodynamically supposedly, supposedly uh, a little bit better. Now, it's all in the feeling of the driver and the horse. Uh, to me, uh, it does feel good and, and uh, it does ride nice, so that's what we're going with right now. Talk to me about the difference, in your opinion, between the whip wheel and perhaps the evolution wheel. Well, there's a bunch of new wheels, or wheels out. There's the whip wheel, there's the evolution wheel. It's been out for the Harmer bike and other wheels. Uh, the whip wheel is made out of Delaware. It's a tire that come out in a, in a, in a wheel. Uh, the bearings are good, it tracks well, it's really sturdy and, and durable. I noticed that the bearings last a long time, you don't have to replace them as much, and it just gives you a really good feel, a good ride. Uh, tires are very hard to determine in bearings, but uh, this is the first wheel in a long time that I felt it was a, a very good wheel, better than the rest of them. Dayton University tested and approved the UFO bikes, saying not only do they meet, but they exceed USTA requirements. Keep an eye out on the track for the UFO and decide for yourself what this bike can or cannot do. Reporting for Pompano Park, I'm Gigi Diaz.